Hello, my most amazing artists. I am so sad that I can't be with you today, but we are still going to make some art together. Today, we are going to make a cactus planter. So the first thing you're going to do, whoa, is you're going to write your name in the bottom corner and your class code. And then you're going to flip your paper back. Don't write your name so tiny I can't see it. Or don't make it so big that you can't flip your paper over if you need to. Now, we're gonna have our paper in portrait mode so that it is vertical. And then we're gonna imagine that like halfway, there's like this dotted line, right? So in the bottom half, we're gonna draw a pot. You could make your pot kind of look however you want. I want mine to kind of be round. Yours could be straight. I might have a little lip coming out of the bottom. You know how like sometimes plate potters, plants have like a little like plate at the bottom. Okay. And mine's gonna have a lip at the top. Kind of curved. Remember that we are drawing light until we get it right if you need to. Hold your pencil further back. I'm drawing a little darker so that you can see it on the video. But Now right now, I need to make a table line for where my table is in the background. I'm gonna just make that straight across no, about there. Now, I'm gonna think about, let's add a cactus. You can add this one wherever you want, but you know how there's those tall, skinny ones? Kinda of look like that. And they have some pokies on them, so I'm gonna draw some kind of pokies on the line around it. And on this side, And then I'm gonna imagine I have like a line coming down it. I'm gonna draw some pokies on it too. Remember you can pause the video, just raise your hand and your teacher will pause it if you need a little bit more time. So we've got one cactus in there. Let's add another one. Remember there's like those ones that are like, kind of like balls, kind of looks like a, almost like a snowman stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna make a short one right here. And they have these lines on them. They kind of curve. It almost looks like the pumpkin lines, you know? These also have some like kind of like spikes on the side, so I'm just gonna draw some like lines coming out of it. So to make sure it looks like a cactus, right? You can draw your cactus wherever you want on your page. It doesn't have to look just like mine. Hmm, and I'm thinking there's also like the ones that kind of like spout out. So I'm gonna draw like a leaf here. I'm kind of making it go behind this one to create a little bit of space and depth. Kind of have some lines on it like that. Has another leaf coming out of it. And maybe I'll imagine this one coming in front. I'm gonna erase this part. Oops, my eraser had fallen off at the beginning of the video. I'm 
going to erase it so it looks like it's in front of that one. The benefit of drawing light, right? You can add more. And then maybe I'm going to add like one over here that kind of looks like that. And they have those pokey things that make it a cactus, right? Make sure those are sticking out. So now I kind of have a cactus arrangement going on. I might add like a little piece coming out of this one. Give it a little bit more height. You can add and change your cactuses. The size, maybe you want some little ones, maybe you want some big ones. My challenge for you is to draw three to five different cactuses on your, in your planter. So I right now have one, two, three, four. Hmm, I might add one more kind of in the background here. That might, I don't know. look a little bit like that give it a little bit of different texture on it now once we have at least three to five different cactuses we're going to decorate our pot thinking about different designs you might want your designs to go vertically like that or you might want your designs to go horizontally you can make your designs however you want. I think I'm gonna do a couple horizontal, so I'm gonna just go. Now, right now, I'm just drawing some lines. Now I'm gonna go back in and add some pattern. And my last step before I finish it up is I'm going to add some details in the back. So this is, I'm thinking I might have some stripes on my tablecloth. In my background, maybe I'll add some swirls. Now I'm finished. I'm going to either outline it with a black crayon or if you have a black marker, I'm going to use my black crayon because I like the look of a crayon. So I'm going to go slow and outline everything so that it stands out. So now that I have my whole drawing outlined in black, it really stands out. So now I'm going to think about how I'm going to add some color, baby color. I'm going to think about my cactuses. I want them to be green. So I'm going to get out some various greens. I might use a little bit of blue green also and a little yellow green also so that I can make them look a little different. So now you're just gonna be adding some color, baby color.